Hey everyone, this is a bit of a different video for me this time. Uh, I decided to try and use up the final scraps of the Fallen Leaves paper pad from Kazercraft. have a few other videos that I've done with this and I had lots of these tiny little strips and then a few bigger pieces available. I decided to try and create three cards with all the pieces that I had. So I started with three A2 white card bases, so five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I matted them with a five and a quarter by four uh, gray backing panel. You can see those on the left hand side of the screen. I then decided that I, I really had no plan, but I then decided that uh, I really liked the black mats that I'd used on this paper pad previously. So I laid out all of the small pieces onto my craft mat and I did them in bundles where I just applied some of my Tomo Mono liquid glue and then I attached them to the scrap pieces of black paper. I really just, it was like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. I just put as many pieces as I could fit uh, onto that particular piece of paper. You can see they're all different sizes. And once I'd finished with all of them, it was literally a matter of uh, cutting them up with my paper trimmer. Um, I have put some links, by the way, down below to the items that I've used uh, in this video. Uh, most of them will be affiliate links, which means that I get a small commission from anything that's purchased from the links um, at no additional cost to you. And I really encourage you to uh, use affiliate links if you're watching videos from your favorite creators. It doesn't have to be mine, but if you are using those affiliate links, that really helps all creators out. At this point, I really didn't have much of a plan at all. I was really just trying to prep the pieces that I had and turn them into something that I thought might be useful. I use a lot of sketches for my card creating and that's because at the moment I'm going through a phase where I'm really trying to use up my paper pads. So not using a sketch and going freestyle is so outside my comfort zone, but I do figure out what is the worst that can happen. The worst that can happen is I create a card that I do really don't like and I throw it into the recycle bin. But to be honest, I don't know that I've ever done that before. I think I can always recover a card and I can always find a, a use for it and someone that will uh, enjoy it and it will put a smile on their face. You can see on the right hand side of the screen that I have three sentiments, which is uh, they're black and white and they're square. I thought I'd be able to incorporate them into this style of card because uh, they're sort of a similar size and proportion and uh, won't get lost on what might end up being a very busy card background. I did not include all of the chopping down of the mats. There's just a tiny little piece of it here uh, with my paper trimmer with me measuring things out. So after I had finished chopping everything up, I had my three uh, panels and I just started trying to find pieces that were of a similar size so that I could do a similar layout. I did not want to be creating three completely different cards. I wanted to try and do a couple of them at once and see if I could balance out the random strips. Now, I did have a bit of practice with this or at least a first attempt as part of Kendra's card challenge number five. So for the final card of that one, I used a few bits and pieces like this to create a card that I actually ended up enjoying. And that is why I was uh, confident enough to try it out with the bits that were left. You can see here the card I'm messing with at the moment, it looks like a red hot mess. Things don't line up properly. The, there's no balance. Uh, I'm, I'm just not liking it at all. So I move on to the next one. I'm trying to work out where I can put that square so that it doesn't look odd. I'm layering the bits and pieces on top of each other, shuffling them from left to right. I uh, fiddled with this for quite an amount of time. And in the end, it was the small pieces that I could kind of tuck under a corner uh, that ended up helping out a lot. Once I was pretty comfortable with the first one, I got my liquid glue and I started uh, gluing the pieces down. Uh, at this point, I was still not particularly confident I was going to like the outcome, but I was persevering. I used some scrap cardstock to uh, put the extra layer below some of the bigger pieces just to make sure I didn't have 
panels dipping all over the card. With this style, it's really, really important. The cardstock underneath in black is quite thick, and then this paper is actually got a bit of weight to it as well. So if you don't actually prop it up with little bits behind, it's just going to look really wavy and, and just not sit well on the card at all. So uh, that was one of the most important things. If I can avoid it on a card, I often skip that step. But for this one in particular, I highly recommend if you're doing this style of card that you have some scrap nearby. You could use foam tape if you have some foam tape or if that's something that you prefer to use. Uh, for me, it's just paper scraps that, uh, that I'm chopping up here and just sliding in behind. With this first card, I mentioned that it just it didn't look complete to me, but you can see there that I found a couple of the extra strips and I chopped them in half and then I literally just slid them up behind so that they were sticking out from the sentiment. And one or two small tweaks like that really can make all the difference. I've now moved on to gluing the second card and it does have a very, very similar design. And you can see I'm even attaching the pieces in the same order. This just means when I layer things up, um, you know, the overs and unders are going to be in a similar spot. Uh, I do though on this one have, it looks like two rectangles, which means I have separated those to put one in the top right and one on the bottom left so that they're not overlapping. I then just attach the extra bits and pieces and you'll see shortly uh, that for the sentiment, the sentiment being uh, black on the white uh, was looking really lost. It didn't look like it have enough had enough weight to it. And that's really because of the extra rectangle down on the bottom left. So I decided that what I could do is I could add an extra mat to that and, and just make it a little bit bulkier and, and make it, uh, I guess, have a bit more of a presence on the card. So you can see here, I haven't done this with the other two. It wasn't needed. So while I'm moving on to the next card, I wanted to mention that I have a goal of getting to 700 subscribers by the end of next month, so by the end of April. So if you are not already a subscriber, then it would be wonderful if you'd consider subscribing. And it would also be fantastic if you enjoy my videos, if you could drop them a like. By dropping a like on a video, it means that YouTube shares it to more people. And that is super, super helpful uh, for people to be able to see my content. So if you've done that already, thank you so much. And if you haven't, then it would be wonderful if you would consider doing it. Okay, on to the third card. So this is the final one. This is very similar to the others. I am literally just going to glue these different pieces together. I did have on the left hand side a piece of pattern paper that I added to this card before I really determined my approach. But as you can see, I'm just making it work. It's pattern paper, it's the same color tones, all of these paper pieces are from exactly the same paper pad. So it's literally quite difficult to get it wrong. I, I'm pretty fussy with trying to figure out something that's either symmetrical or that you know has the right level of balance. And when I got to the end of this, I was happy with all three of the cards. I have a quick question for you. I don't often make cards beyond birthday cards, encouragement cards, and thank you cards. But would it be useful to see Easter cards, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day? Uh, I do do Christmas, to be fair, but if there's any other special occasions that you think would be uh, useful to do some videos on, then let me know because I'm uh, all about pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. And if they would be useful to others and, and give you some, some hints and tips on things that you could recreate yourself, um, then please drop a comment and let me know. I really love hearing from uh, people who are watching the videos. All right, so it does look like for uh, card number three, I did make a decision to do the black layer. So I would not have adjusted card one because it would have damaged the paper and the card. But two of those do have the black layer and I will admit that they do look way better than the others. Put a couple of links here to videos I think you might also enjoy. Have a great day.